Here are three drills that are going to help you hit relaxed, loose, and fast serves. First drill, it's called the two circles drill. Now you can do this with a racket. You're probably not holding a racket right now as you're watching this video, so let's use no racket. Put your hands out in front of you, palms down, and just let the wrists be nice and relaxed, and just draw two circles. If you're right-handed, go counterclockwise. If you're a lefty, go clockwise. Use that as the beginning of your service motion. Let me hit a couple serves. I've got slight wrist flexion, which is going to allow for just relaxation, and I'm going to use some circles and then hit some serves. My goal is to look relaxed, loose, and then hit fast serves. That's the goal. By using the circles, it creates rhythm. By allowing the wrist to be slightly flexed, there's looseness, and that is absolutely going to help you to hit faster serves. Here's the second idea. This has to do with the idea of hitting the party hat, but it's a less technical concept, and it's more just an idea, right? And it's the idea of using a lasso swing. Players think about the racket drop or scratch the back. You don't want to scratch the back on your serve. But I don't even want you to think of a racket drop. I think the idea of dropping your racket down behind your back can really cause issues and actually slow down your serve. So what I would rather you think of is a lasso, like yeehaw, like you're a cowboy. So when you have the two circles, and then above your head, you think of a lasso. Think about a lasso. A lasso is a rope, right? And, but if you, I guess if you're in Europe, you call it a lasso, uh, lasso. But when you're making this move, right, it creates speed. And then you can throw it and try to get it around the, the, the horn, you know, horns of the bull or whatever. The goal is to think of the service motion more as a helicopter blade than it is like a propeller on a plane. Don't think of it so much down and up. Think of the serve as more helicopter-like. When you do that, it produces incredible looseness. And a circle allows for acceleration. So you had the two circles at the beginning for rhythm and allowing the palm to stay down. Now when you come up, now the goal is to draw a circle above your head. So I'm going to hit a couple serves. The goal is that I do the circle, with, or the two circles with my hands, and then I feel like I'm throwing a lasso above my head. Oh, I got to do the circle, sorry. Went into my normal service motion. Two circles. One more. No way I'm missing this. There we go. Perfect. All right. Number three. Now, before I tell you number three, totally forgot. If you're looking for new people in your local area to play matches against or practice with, or if you want to find a coach who's close to you who can help you with your game, then use my link for Play Your Court. And it's playyourcourt.com slash two minute tennis. When you use my link to sign up, you get 50% off. All right, number three. When you're done hitting a serve, I want you to practice something called wave to the camera. You are the camera. I am serving that way. So when I am done, I am going to wave to the camera. And I'm going to wave to the camera with my tossing hand, but not here, but here. Look at J.J. Wolf. When J.J. Wolf is done serving, you can see his, his tossing hand on this side as if he is waving. See, it's one thing to be relaxed, and create this loose lasso swing above your head. But we want to harness physics, and we want to unwind and then stop the body. When we stop the body, the hitting arm accelerates. If you're someone who rotates your body, you're not going to serve it as fast as if you rotate and then stop. That, like a catapult, throws the hitting arm over the shoulder. So let me hit some serves. And when I'm done, I'm going to make sure that I wave to the camera in a power X. Don't worry about throwing your, your non-hitting or your tossing hand behind you for balance or whatever. I think that's completely overrated. If you want to do it, that's fine. But make sure you tuck this arm in. 
and you, you see Nadal do this, you see Federer do this. It, you, Roddick, watch Roddick. <laughs> I can't wait for all the people to be like, Roddick didn't do that. Watch Roddick. When Roddick hits the ball, his tossing hand is right here. And then when he's done, he goes like this. But you don't even have to do that because it gives you nothing on the serve. I'd rather you just finish like this, waving to the camera. And make sure you stop your body's rotation and you accelerate the racket. So we'll hit a couple serves. Uh, oh, sorry. Got to do the circles. Got to do the lasso. And then I will wave to you. I'm not missing this one. Missed two or three in a row. Unacceptable. He's going right down the tee. Perfect serve. Just making sure you're watching. All right. So go out and film yourself serving. See if you can use the two circles drill to produce a loose, relaxed beginning where you're not going into the waiter's tray, but you're keeping, at the beginning of your serve, wrist flexion. That gives you the palm down position that allows you to use more of a lasso swing. And then when you're loose and you use a lasso and you start unwinding, stop your body's rotation by actually waving to the camera with your tossing hand. You use these three drills, there's no doubt. You're gonna gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.